auto households as the new wives take control. If Charles doesn't like it, he has no choice. He will follow my rules. This is the freshest meat you can have. The Lovazano family better say bye-bye to their frou-frou manicures because it's fixing to get dirty. The families are summoned to the rules change ceremony. It's time for the wives to lay down the new rules which the families must obey. Y'all treat grandma like a maid. So this week, you're gonna slave and pamper grandma. This includes serving grandma breakfast in bed. I would like to be kitchen. You girls will take over each and every one of her responsibilities. Chores. No chores and more fun. This week, I'm bringing in your grandma to take care of all the responsibilities. I'm also going to hire a farm hand, which will free us up to have some fun. I love it. Yeah. Um, yes. No, no. Kayla and Shay, your addiction to designer labels is totally out of control. You'll wear these outfits for the rest of my visit. What's this? Where does this go? On your head? You'll find a place. Wow. In the real world, it's about keeping up with the Joneses. Keeping up with the Joneses makes you a very sick person. You may not care about that, but your kids do. This week, I'll be giving you each lessons on how to look like the coolest kids in Texas. It don't take name brand clothes to make you feel better about yourself. It's all up here. This week, there will be no social engagements. We will spend this time together as a real family. Bruce, this means you will not go to the gym this week. Instead, you'll make sure they do their chores. I'm okay with everything. She has a dance. We've got ways of earning privileges. Okay. Charles, at any time I catch you yelling at your kids, you will put a dollar in this yell jar. Wrong. Kayla and Shay, your mom, your dad, and your grandma give you everything. But what have you given them? This week, we're going to make arts and crafts using some of your designer clothes. No. That's all right. You all right? I'll be right back. <laughs> Just like way too much. I'm not wearing the overalls to a freaking chance. Now she's gonna have a dead eye camera. Alright? You need to suck it up. Charles needs to understand Craig better. This week, you two will get a chance to bond. <laughs> I don't have a problem with that. Last night I went in there and kissed every one of them, told them I loved them. Did or did I not? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. With the promise of a $5,000 payoff, Kayla returns to the rules change ceremony to take the rest of the rules. Okay, we're ready. Almost done. Okay. <laughs> Y'all shell out a lot of money for fancy labeled food. You have no idea where it comes from. Meet Stu. What a cute buddy. He'll be your feast for Friday night's dinner. Oh. I'm not going to eat Stu. Charles, you may think that being strict with them is doing them a favor, but I don't want to hear the words sir or ma'am for the rest of the week. Nope, we have to stop. We are not cutting that out. Whether you want to or not. I'm not sitting through this, uh-uh. <laughs> that went well. Dana has ruled that the girls toss their designer clothes. In the box. And sit down to a country dinner. And I wanted to make y'all our favorite cookout food. And I'm hoping that you will enjoy it. Is that a pig? It's not quite ready, but I wanted just to see it before the rest of his skin was peeling because he's cooking. <laughs> yeah. Still has his ears on. Yeah, we end up great. throwing the heads to our chickens who pick it clean. I probably won't be able to follow Dana's rules. I don't like any one of them. I walked out because I'm not going to sit and watch everything I've showed them in life just go out the door. In Texas, with Charles still fuming after the rules change, Tina, oblivious, introduces the boys to Clover Cool. officially dub you both Clover Cool. We are going to bend her rules just like my rules were bent. I don't care if anybody likes it or not. That's the way they're going to do it. And if they don't, I'm going to make them do it. I ain't.